Hello, Gary. Hey, brother. <laughs> How are you doing? This is fun surprise. What's oh, going? yeah, you didn't know. So I initially, know. I was, I was going to be on on Friday, which was my 30th birthday. Uh, but birthday, things, obviously, brother. thank you very much. Um, context you. for people who are watching is that I work for Gary in VaynerMedia London, at VaynerMedia LDN on Instagram, if you want to follow them. Um, I guess context for you. So I've known for a couple of weeks that I was going to be on because I asked Zane as a cheeky birthday favor. Um, and I know you've talked a bunch even today about sort of doing things that are your truth. So a few months ago, I started a website aimed at helping people get hired by top companies because it's something I sort of felt I was good at and, yes. you know, obviously working for you. Um, UltimateCVTemplate.com, the website still exists. Someone wants to check it out. But I've been thinking oh. about it a lot. So that's not what the question's about because I've pivoted. So I've been into painting for like five years on and off, as you can see behind yes. me. Yes. Um, but in the last, like since lockdown began, I've just become like freakishly obsessed. Crazy. Like, and I used to, so I did Kung Fu for about 12 years and I have a black belt in Kung Fu and maybe bar alcohol. <laughs> this is the thing that I've found myself most in love with. And I stopped drinking this year, so I need a new hobby. Um, so, and I've done a lot of research in the build up to this because I wanted to sort of have context on what you think. So I looked at every question about art and stuff that you've been asked historically. And in 2016, you said there's tens of thousands of artists who will give up on their craft and never make it, who would be millionaires if they were your business partner. So if we imagine this was our first meeting as your business partner and you're giving me advice for the next 10 years of how to like build something, what would your advice be? Um, to give your art to the, to the most widely known influencers on the platforms that matter the most. I would make art. I would post it on my Instagram everywhere for that matter. I would make a TikTok of me making it. Um, and then I would give that art up front to, uh, you know, the Charlie D'Amelio's, the whoever they may be, your favorite footballer, you know, whoever, you know, literally DMing and, and you hit up 45 people, 580 players in the Premier League and one says yes. And then that one person doesn't even post it on their Instagram or their story and you're devastated because you finally got a yes. And you do that over and over and over until you have your quote unquote break. What you have in real life is you have me, right? Like if, if you know, your ability, what, what's your Instagram ha handle? Uh, Angus Boyle. So Angus, what, what, what's going to happen now is you're going to take one of those photos, literally, literally post it on your Instagram right now after this call because a bunch of people are following you right now and come up with some sort of price like $313, 330 pounds. So I, 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 when D Designs was on on Friday and shit blew up for her, I realized how, how big an opportunity this show was. So I built a website over the weekend and arbitrarily priced the art. So <laughs> what's the URL? Artbyangus.com. Artbyangus.com. Art. Super smart. Dustin, get on that real quick. So like, yeah, I mean, very honestly, your career's started right now. Like here it is. You know, I think you need, to, a lot of my fans are American based though. This is wildly global. You'll have to figure, make sure you don't get killed on shipping. Luckily it's probably, uh, is your art on paper or is it on canvas? Like how heavy is it? Uh, the bigger ones are all on canvas. I made some super light ones on cardboard. Love it. Like, you know, like, uh, look, I think this is how it works, bro. <laughs> nice dude. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah, but, like this is amazing. Keep scroll. I thought you were painting with your feet for a second. I was about to go crazy. <laughs> Keep scrolling, Dustin. Yeah, see, like, like honestly, you're gonna sell these things right now. Like, it's just gonna happen, and and I think it's fucking amazing. And do you ship everywhere? Uh, yeah, I'll have to figure that out. But yeah, you'll have to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, brother. I honestly, I think, I think to be very frank, I think your career, the the end of your Vayner media career and the beginning of your art career might be happening literally in this moment. And that makes me so fucking happy. Like, first of all, you're really good. I'm proud of you, bro. Thank it's you. really good. Hit small or oh, medium. fine. Yeah, man. I mean, obviously you've got a lot of good vibe stuff too, which is going to do well with my audience. And then, you know, like this is just how it is, man. Like every art, like if Jay Leno wasn't pushed by his management, you know, he would have never been who he was. Like some people are the art and then some people need a break. Some people need a partner in crime. Somebody needs a cosign. You have the luxury of being a great executive at our company that makes me desperately try to get everybody to buy a piece of your art right now. And so you've built up that leverage with somebody who can give you that cosign. There's a lot of people right now who don't have me or anything that looks like me in their world. So what they have to do is kind of what I did. I mean, my cosign in a lot of ways was dignation, right? Like, 
like it was Kevin Rose and Alex Elbrick who kind of gave me a shout out on Dignation in like 2005, 2006 internet. And that kind of was my little spark. And you know, it always happens. It happens all the time. And so, you know, hopefully this is the beginning of yours. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. Love you back, brother. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. That was a fun surprise. Good job, Dustin. I think it's good people.